Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Bakchia Let's Play. Now, last time we declared war on Chimera, or rather we did this two episodes ago, and we took quite a bit of territory off of them. Now I'm going to take them out fully, just to finish them off with Bosporus. And yeah, we are in the latter stages of the campaign, so... I still have to play the turn, so I will do that now, and for some reason the game is a bit laggy, so I would like to apologize for that, but it's not that much of a problem. I think I have moved all of my armies, actually I have not. So I can take out this army of Chimeria, and I should move these guys into Ankira, I think that would be a smart decision just so that replenishment gets up a bit more. Well, it gets higher, it increases. That's that's a word I can also use. <laughs> well, let's keep this going. It's 96%, that one is okay, let's release them. I think that is well, the best option. At least in my opinion. Uh, let's move you guys towards here. I will have to declare war on Rolskitia and a Orsi. As uh, so one of the settlements I do have to capture is Ponto, as someone promises I have to capture is Ponto Caspia. So I will be moving my troops towards there, or in that general direction. Let's give this guy this, get him tactician. I was actually doing the navigation thingy. Yeah, that was not exactly the best thing. So I will get these two married if they have enough, they do have enough gravitas. So that I can, well, the Egyptian families control Persis, I have checked it before the episode started. And it would be nice if we had at least an army or two ready to, well, counter them and get rid of them ultimately. I guess, and yeah, I think there's nothing else to do, unless there's something in diplomacy. I could start a trade with ours, I could trade with Gnosis, I think I can. Sure, no, I cannot. Maybe with Athens, I'm... I think I... Oh, hi. Ooh. Uh, let's see, actually. No, I cannot. Okay, so let's just get a bit of money out of them. So 2,000 think is the most. No, it is not. Let's see. Can I... Uh... Hmm. Okay, so I can't get a lot of money out of them. That's a shame. They are... Just 30 something of 33 from being able to marry one of our family members, one of our daughters. You have to take oh, it is the Russian kingdom at war with anybody. They're with Chimera and Skurtiski, which is a tribe up here. And also allied with Pantas and Pergamon, which is not good because we are also allied with Pergamon. But yeah, otherwise, I think everything is okay. Everything is as it should be. So, yeah, let's just hope it goes well. We should be able to take out Chimeria this turn, well, in the next two turns, because one army needs a bit more to move to take Tanais. When the Capeum will be taken this turn, no worries, I'm sure of it. Also, it would be nice if I were able to persuade Kush to be on our side. And apparently we cannot win this. Huh. Kinda of surprised, but let me just see if. Yeah, pure quicker, okay. Second, I was. I was afraid for a second I had to fight the battle myself. Whew! What a relief! <laughs> I don't have to make it interesting. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that army is out of range to reinforce, but Panticapeum should be able to take the nice those. That army, I think it doesn't have enough of movement range to help the nice. Oh. That is rather unfortunate, I guess. Okay, let's keep on moving. So, subjugation of Shalusia, okay. And have this Nabataya. Hmm. Can I get them on my side with a huge ass gift? Could I do that? Just see, can I? No, I cannot. Okay, that's a shame. I screwed them. I'll attack them then. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, true, true. Can 
I just need to create a statue P and I offer them a lot of money. Maybe that is the key. Okay, I can. Nice. Let's see how much can I... How much do I have to pay them? To, to, wait, is it only one time? Okay, I won't complain. <laughs> well, let's see. Yeah, let's just go for moderate and let's go. A free state or free just a free thing that we can get. <laughs> free territory. Yeah, let's put it like this. Okay, these guys do not. Let's see. Can I get an? I could get an alliance with these guys. It would be it would make my life much more easier. I should be able to buy them. I think. Yeah, I think I'll be able to buy them off. Mm, I think 8000 should be enough and it is, okay, let's see, RDI, you are a client state of Athens. I was not aware of that, so if you look at this here, at the Richter conditions, you have Thracia, Trace, so only Italia and Ponto Caspia, so the Romans and the, well, the Nomads, the Romans and the Nomads, well, let's see, I can, is this, oh, just a weapon, okay, okay, but that was, that was quite costly, actually. <laughs> now that I see it, I should have checked it before. Say, so, going head first. That's our motto here. <laughs> uh, he has been. Well, he has leveled up, I guess, ranked up. <laughs> also, fun little fact: I became DMG today in Counter Strike. Just a, oh, cool little piece of trivia. You know, it's kind of irrelevant, but still. Something you can know about me. Not that interesting, but still. Let's keep moving. This guy, actually, you can start moving as well towards conquest of the nomads. Let's find who is this guy. So he is in Iconium. This, is this settlement here. Okay, let's get the two daughters. The daughters, the second, had married. Let's find them a spouse. And you. Okay, so we should be next turn. Okay, let me check this. It's at 15, actually. That is. That means we don't have to get rid of him. Good job. <laughs> Thanks for being loyal. You have just bought yourself another year of life. <laughs> oh, let's see. This guy's. Oh, that's a fleet, actually. Huh. I was not aware of that. Well, let me just do a bit of a trick. I get. Hmm. Re no, what? Let me just. I'll do a 500 IQ move. Look, I put them here. I'll make them land at Pantica Payum. That way. And. Can they land here? No, they cannot. Okay, let's see. Can they? Yeah, they can't. Okay, I guess I'll, guess I'll bring this army in as well. It's the only option we have, kind of. And there we go. Who would have thought that we'll get such a convin such convincing gods with 34% of our force remaining, with this army being completely destroyed? Wait, what? <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm uh, just <laughs> intrigued more than anything else, I guess. Oh, uh, that's okay. That's that's just that's just funny. <laughs> well, this army has been completely decimated. Let's start retraining it, I guess. Ah, uh, let's get you. Can I get the Dolmatai? Can get a trade agreement with these guys. I can get a trade agreement with these guys as well. I can probably get a military. And defensive alliance. I can still get some money out of them. That is, that is rather nice, actually. Is it 3,000? 4,000? 5,000? 6,000? Yes, yeah, so are you feeling okay? Okay, so it's 6,000. Cool, cool. Now, this is a good. Actually, can I go for a military alliance straight out of. Yes, I can. That is nice. <laughs> It's rather nice, so let's see, 5,000, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I won't complain, that's actually pretty good. I'm 
No, just no comment, no comment. <laughs> I'm feeling, thank you. That's all I'll say. So I can actually win this game rather easily and rather quickly just with diplomacy, I think. I just have to get to the Romans somehow, so I will be creating a fleet now. And just check who is this guy. Is he Indian family? So Indian families are loyal to us. We're friendly with them. So let's send him towards Rome. I hope this is Roman and the Rome still has all of Italy. Because that will help us kind of speedrun this campaign. If we will be able to get the alliances that I desire, I'll be able to do it. It would be nice if I am able to get Kish on my side as well. No, it's Kush. Is it? I think it is. Let's just get to you to military access as well, just so that our relation improves even more. That would be nice to get points. It's it is an extra settlement. It's not a big one, but still, we need to increase our settlement count. Plus, I need to start hiring mercenaries. Actually, if that army they destroyed, I'll just hire a bunch of mercenaries. It'll be just a mercenary stack, I guess. No, I will not. I will actually. Ah, they will attack Pantikipayum. Ah, shit. They didn't? They they just blockaded or what happened? They that was a big mistake on their side. On their part. Huh. Well this works for us. Interesting. <laughs> Let's see. The lines broken. Kush and Nesmonas. Apparently Kush aren't exactly the most reliable of allies and protection has expired but that is a-okay because we are f well all of our factions are f loyal to us so yeah it's, it's all good guys it's all good all good in the neighborhood let's get you to Samander as well let's get you moving towards the let's get you to here can get to, to nice in one turn so I'll put you on the fortified stance. Let's get you a bunch of mercenaries as I do need to have 60 of those. I need 30 more. Can I get some here? No, I cannot just yet. Now I'll just raise an army, two armies actually, uh, of Diodotus, Diodotus dynasty. Let's get you up and going. Let's get you here. Let's get these guys, the cheap ones, these guys as well. Let's get these guys are cheap as well. Oh, screw it. Let's throw in some elephants for for fun as well. Let's just train this army up with finish it with the Hillman. <laughs> finish them off. With the Hillman stack. Let's get you so you will be there in three to four turns, depends on how lucky we are. Yeah those armies will just have to suffer attrition I guess. Eh, let them be. They deserve it. They have chosen death. Mm, I think I'll actually have to go for this one quite soon because yeah, we aren't that... We're not doing good with the whole corruption thingy. It's 72%. It, yeah, it's quite a lot. Yeah, it's manageable. Yeah, still better than... Still better than Russia. <laughs> oh, joke, joke. Alexander's ambition, Arabia... Yeah, we won't. We won't take that. No, 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 no. There should be the following state. Egypt. Okay, we have done this. The legacy of Ptolemy. Yeah, we ain't doing that, chief. Sorry. Sorry to break it, but we ain't doing that. Let's see if I can get a trade agreement with this. Yes, I can. That is quite nice, actually. Let's see if I can get at least a defensive alliance. I will try and let's see. It's a high. Maybe I can get a mil Probably no, not yet. So let's just get down to 6 down. Let's see how much do I need to get to buy their loyalty. 400, nice, and let's see, can I, technically they are married, not technically, they are married, that's just a fact, <laughs> like, the daughters, our guy, the daughters and their queen, I don't know what's her name, they're married, so, it's just a, I mean, technically speaking, we do have a claim on them, and they have a claim on our, to, to our land, technically, right, that makes sense. Right? Right? It does. Come on. Tell me it does. <laughs> yeah, we'll start our offensive into Pontocaspia soon enough. Just flatten position, my guys. My dudes. 
I think they can actually attack them next turn. Nah, I'll wait one more, because I don't think the... Actually, those two armies can probably reach them, so I will attack them. The Aorsi. I think it's Aorsi. Aorsians. <laughs> so what, if we get five more of those settlements... Ah, bugger. Ah, they just had to do it. They just had to be annoying like that, right? Just had to do it to us. Yeah, just sink already. You will capture it. And the whole campaign prolongs for a bit. So we'll get rid of the navy. Once again, it will just last for one turn. That navy is truly a pain in my ass, I guess. But yeah, we will deal with them soon enough. We will deal with them, that's the main thing. Because they are trapped now there, and yeah, they don't have much of a way forward. They're just stuck there. Doing nothing. Forever stuck. Oh, let's get you to here. Let's get you guys to here as well. Let's get you to declare war on them. And they have no allies. I'll just wait for my guy to get there, declare war. Yeah, yeah, I do not care. Three of our armies against two of yours, and uh, I think this one is 58%. 56, close. I was off by two. Scheiße. And we capture some Mandar. As expected, nothing too shocking. We lost a couple of units, which is actually in our favor because we will re be replacing them with the mercenaries, as we do need to get them. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. I will be getting the cheap ones because, well, they do not cost much upkeep. So, how many more do I need? 16 and 8 more units. Okay. Okay, to sort the Chimeria situation, the crisis with Chimeria. Let's get you sailing towards here. Let's get you to Phanagoria. Let's capture it, so let's just go for 94% and we'll, we have actually 5 armies now in this just general vicinity. So that is... No, we have quite a bit of a presence here. I guess. Ooh, I think I can buy Kush off now. I can get them on my side, I'm pretty sure. I mean, 40,000 is quite a lot, is it not? Wait, they don't want to be my... We just have to, I guess, improve our relations? See, 37, so it was 26... 7, 48... Let's just see how much I can get the real, our relation up. It would be nice if I can get quite a bit up. It's at 17 now, I think this should be enough. It is not, that is quite unlucky. I would like them to be my military allies, they have quite a bit of territory, so it would be nice to have them as a friend, as a military ally, because, well, it's 10 more. Okay, my side conquered, yeah, when we did the wiki. Uh, I think we'll actually finish the campaign before that, we need. 33 settlements, but if I... Wait, 30, 23, not 33. Well, 23. <laughs> Forget, it's 8... eight it's 6 there, it's 9, so it's, what, a couple more, and there's 4 in, that I have to capture here, plus all the territory there. Let's see if I can get something with Athens. Can I get you into an alliance? See, defensive, probably military as well. Nice. See, RDI, we are already military allies, so this brings our territory number to 72. So we are getting there, so we'll be at 82 once, not 82, 81. If we get Kush to be our ally. But they probably won't be, or they won't, will, won't want to be. See if maybe I can buy Skitians off. No, I cannot. Okay, that's a shame, but still. 
It's okay. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll just bring all these armies here. Get you... Stop recruiting. Uh, let's get you to here. Get you two units of mercenaries. Uh, get you into force march. And we'll be sailing towards Italy. Screw it. <laughs> We're taking Italy by force. So we have all of our guys set up here. And next turn we'll be moving towards there. We'll also be moving towards taking our Deskitians. That is something that we need to do. We need to take out our horse as well. Huh, if if I play this correctly, next episode could be the last one, actually. <laughs> Don't think about it a bit. Just a bit. It does appear I can manage to do it rather quickly, just through diplomacy. <laughs> I did not expect it to go this well. So that I would have to grind my way through Europe, through the Bosporus, fight the Kush as well. The Kushites. Kushan? Uh, I don't know how to say their name properly, I guess. Sirasena. I think it will take us three turns and I can rest in our territory as well. I think we should be able to do that. Should I can dissolve with Libya, so somebody had to have taken them out. I think it's it's Rome. It's Rome, wait what? Rome is this big and this strong. You Welcome hello there. And they are at war with Carthage, so we just have Italia, they have Arimino, they have Valatri, they have. I guess it's unknown, they have. Huh, Rome is doing actually surprisingly well. They do not do this well, usually. But yeah, I guess we'll have to fight the Romans now. Well, it's a bit. <laughs> I'm sorry for the lag. I don't like it myself either, but I just gotta deal with it. Well, you do too because you have to watch me. And yeah, let's. I guess we'll just attack Ro Roman, the Romans. There's no other alternative, so we have chosen death. They aren't that friendly to us, so. War with Rome it is. Let's see if I can get them on our side now. It would be nice if I able to get them. Um, please accept, accept. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Let's see, can I... It's at 87 now. Let's see if I can get up even more. So, expansion is devious. It's because she's devious. That's the problem. Let's see. It's 109. Usually that would, would just accept it normally, but because of her trade devious. Can I actually get rid of her? Could I assassinate her? Uh, assassination requires two more cunning than target. He, okay. to, to faction leader, can can I get her assassinated? That would be actually a big brain play. <laughs> now that I think about it, because it is not in our favor that she's the queen of the Kushites. Yeah. The Kushites, I guess. <laughs> oh, let's just get rid of the Aorsi. And yeah, let's go for the 75%. Just to make sure. I will be getting these guys merged. Just so that we can, well, get more. Get the mercenaries. As we do require 60 of them to complete the campaign. It will take them. Ooh, two turns actually. Yeah, let's get. Let's get a move on, boys. We going into Skidia. Now let's get this guy marching towards here. Actually, I'd like them to. I would like him to be there. Let's get to the nice. And for some reason, we have very weak odds. Why is that? It's because their garrison is okay. Huh. Okay, let's do this. Mm. Let's get you to Tanais, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like an easy solution. <laughs> uh, just work around it. Simple as. Uh, 92%. Okay, that is rather good. Wait, that's the Dotas. Wait, what? <laughs> you. 
didn't think that was that the hotus. I thought it was some random guy from the Egyptian families, maybe. So we are getting there, so 7 more units of mercenaries that we need to get. Just get these guys here. Actually, I can. 7 more. Let's just keep this the Dotus's army open. To replenish. Let's get you this. And we have recruited all the human mercenaries here. Okay. Uh, that's. I would say unfort unfortunate, but it's not unfortunate. That's because we are we're just this strong. Some rom 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 Roma. Why do you despise us? Expansionist and devious, just like yeah, we ain't, we ain't accomplishing much with Rome. That is rather unfortunate. Let's just give them a bit of money. They should accept the thing. If I just put another allowance away, let's see, 2,300 is more than enough for them to accept. Let's put that. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll try to get the non-aggression pact in military access now. He's cautious and loyal, so may not be that willing to. Yeah, let's just wait a bit to get our relations up so that he becomes more trusting of us. And yeah, the corruption is really messy, it's just screwing us over. Ceresus, who's that? Ten thousand. Okay, it's this guy. Uh, let's get him. What should I get him? Let's get him this squad. <laughs> I don't know what to get him. That is a problem. Them facing, I guess. But yeah, it would be. I don't know how to invade Rome, actually. We just have to take Italia, so. Hmm. What would be the best course of action? Let's see, can I get a military alliance, actually? Could we get that? That would be rather nice. Let's see, for 4,000. Nice. One more territory to get. One more settlement that we don't have to capture. Is this well? Every single settlement counts in the end. It's the difference between well winning really fast and winning just fast. Like CS go fast, which is not it's just a gambling site, I think. I'm not sure. Would have to check, I guess. But I am I am satisfied with the pace of this campaign. They're doing quite alright, actually. At least in my opinion. You can tell me what you think. Not even at 100 turns, I think we're at 90 something. Well, let's see. Sakharovshan so provinces. At court, can I check this as records? It is, if I remember correctly. We are on turn 91. If I can finish it off within 90 turns, I would consider it a great success, actually. A huge. Say it was huge. <laughs> well, let's just take Sirasena. And yeah, 95%. No brainer. I guess I'll just expand up north or just continue expanding west into Germania. Eastern Germania, that is. Uh, let's get you to there. You can go. You can hear which one? Take a. Um, I'll just go to work. I think I can go to here with them, and with this guy as well, with the Dota and the other chap. Let's get you two more units of mercenaries. We could get there in time, I hope we'll. Well, next turn it would be rather nice. RDI are already here, let me just check. Uh, so 15 more, take Talia, so this army, yeah, it won't finish before 100, just because this army is need too much time to get to Italia. That's a shame, but it's okay. It's alright. I am not too concerned, unless Rome will budge and will decide to be my ally. It would be nice as well, let's see. Will you be? Are you willing to become our ally? No, you're not, okay. So this is just a lost cause, I guess. They won't be our allies, which is a shame. But let's see, who can I ally? Who is our potential ally? So, get I all of these guys? No, they're out of the picture already. Xolani, no, as well. It's only Kush, I guess. But they don't like us, so that's a problem. Let's see if I can get Dolmatai. 
to be our friends. Say military access, let's say military alliance. I know you don't want it just yet, but if I give you, if I turn in a bit of cash, will you be willing to become. Okay, so defensive alliance for sure. Okay, let's see military alliance. So let's see, can I get it? No, I cannot, just because he's. Okay, so expansionist means they don't want our alliance. Okay. Mental note checked. Okay. I'll just end one more turn, and after this end turn, I'll just end the episode because I think it has been. I think it's been going for long enough. It's the feeling I have. I don't know, just something. Just the feeling I have in my. In my bones. <laughs> and we don't even have to declare war on Roma herself. That is quite nice, actually. Will I, call, I will call on my. How. Will I have to go to every single ally of mine and call them in? I think we should be able to. Yeah, this is. Why, did, why would you even attack Skidia? No, why would you do that? It makes no sense. You don't have any. You don't have a chance. Why would you do that? Just why? Tell me why. <laughs> uh, no, but it, it legitimately has no. No logic behind it, them attacking us like that. Hmm. The Gush are rather sus. Gush kinda sus, not gonna lie. I should vote kick them. I can attack them. Take 10 of their regions. I should do that. That would be rather nice. Let's get. So, with Gnosis, we'll get our relations up. I think we can get Gnosis to be our military ally. I think. I hope so. Lost quite a bit of. Yeah, mercenary armies, so yeah, who cares actually? Oh, let's keep these guys going towards Brundisium. We'll be there eventually, it'll just take a bit, so yeah, sorry for that. <laughs> Maybe I can get the navy to do some shenanigans over here. Let's see, are there any. Nah, just one unit. Hope there might be some kind of a. A bit stronger mercenary, so I could establish a base and just expand aggressively into Italy, Italia. So let's take Soloka, and I'll just after I capture it, conquer it rather. I will be ending the episode, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, yeah, leave a like if you like it. All that stuff that uh, popular YouTubers say. I'm sure that you have it memorized by now because it's so repeated, and yeah. Until next time, bye bye.